Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today we're going to talk about DNS scavenging. So let's get started. We're going to click on our server manager. <coughs> that guy will load up. We're going to click on DNS. There's a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to do it this way. You can also do it from up here. You're going to go to your server that holds the DNS server. You're going to go DNS manager. Now, you're going to open up your forward lookup zones. Well, first, before we do that, we're going to want to turn it on. Swirling, swirling. Guess my servers are under load right now. Do, 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 do. We play the hurry up and wait game, which I'm sure we're all veterans of. <laughs> And then we're going to go to Properties. We're going to go to the Advanced tab. That's where all the magic is. And we're going to enable Automatic Scavenging of Stale Records. It's going to up scavenge every 20 days. That's what we want. Uh, by default, this will be unchecked, so make sure you check it and set a date. And we're going to go into our forward lookup zones, as I was saying earlier. We're going to go into the Graham.net, because this one's our integrated, the top ones are integrated domain. This one's our actual zone. And... We're going to go Properties of the Zone, and we're going to click on the, the first tab that loads up by default is the General tab. That's good enough for us. We're going to go to Aging, and uh, Scavenge Stale Resource Records will be unchecked. Make sure you simply check it, and put in a date. Now, this is very important because what it'll try to do first is it'll try to refresh. It'll try to refresh every 20 days. So every 20 days, it'll try to update uh, the record. After 20 days, if it does not, if it cannot update or find the record, it'll hang on to that record for an additional 14 days. By default, these are both set to 7. It'll try to hang on to that record for 14 days, and at the end of 14 days, it'll delete it. So in total, it'll wait 34 days in total before it'll actually delete a record, okay? So if this doesn't work right away and you have it set to like I do to 34, well, no kidding because it's going to wait 34 days, okay? So, click OK, that's all good and groovy, and that's how you do it. That's how you enable DNS scavenging. There are different things you can do um, to kind of hurry it up, but I never really like to do them, like um, scavenge stale resource records, you can click that if you wanted it to happen right now. Um, I just like to, like to let it do its thing, but if you're in a hurry to scavenge some stale resource records that are, you know, causing your you know, maybe your remote software or remote assist isn't working right because of bad DNS information or whatever your reason. Um, but the only thing I'll point out is when you do this, make sure that you think about people who are not there all the time. Maybe you have a few people who work out in the field and they bring their laptops in, you know, once every two weeks or once a month. Uh, if your scavenging does not meet their requirements, those DNS records are going to drop off the network and you're going to have problems. So make sure you count that into your plan when you set up DNS scavenging and aging. Okay, I hope this uh, explained a lot of information for you. I personally found this kind of hard to understand until I found a video on it, so I decided to make a video myself. Okay. Uh, mostly because I couldn't find a, a video in 2012, even with infinite skills or CBT nuggets. So I thought that was kind of weird, but I thought I'd make a video anyway and uh, explain how to scavenge your resource records, okay? I hope you liked the video. Please rate and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Later.